here we are. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Today is November 28th, 2020. As you guys can see, today is yet another day with the GoPro on the head, coat, waders, and early morning session for some striped bass. So I was actually out all night last night. I left my house around 10 o'clock, started fishing around 12.30, 1-ish, and grinded till about 4.45 in the morning without a single tap. And I'm here with my cousin, who's also pretty experienced, a lot more than me. And uh, he didn't have a single bite either. So fishing was tough last night. Threw, threw a plethora of lures. Um, maybe low tide has something to do with it, but it just wasn't our night. So I'm out here again. I just took a quick little nap in my car. It's about 6.30 now. So like a nice little hour and a half nap. Um, plan on being out here earlier, but I was just so tired. I mean, I had been up for 23 hours straight at that point. So hopefully gonna get on some fish today. Um, since the bigger plugs didn't work last night, I've been kind of waiting to throw a little sandy limitation right there, a small little uh, A27 diamond jig with a cool little, hopefully you can see that, Sport Fish Products teaser. This light makes me look so pale. Just looking at that now, it's like a green goblin. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm throwing right now. It looks really nice. I think I could get a fish or two on it. Um, last time I was here about a week ago, sunrise was definitely the right time i got two schoolies like pretty much back to back right away so i'm just gonna get out there it's a gorgeous morning if you guys can see right behind me i mean scenery is just magnificent so we're gonna get out there hopefully make some casts hopefully catch some fish it's a nice little 45 degrees outside and yeah hopefully catch some fish guys some post thanksgiving striper fishing post black friday pre-work and still present covid fishing so i'm gonna get out there guys obviously a little delirious super tired but hopefully put some fish on the sand then send them back swim another day so we'll see what we can do see what the ocean has in store for us see you guys out there gopros on hope to catch some fish stay tuned Guys, fish right there. Big fish. Are you serious right now, bro? Fish on, fish on. Fish on. First one, baby. Nice. Sandy on monster dope. Nice man. There you go guys. First one of the day. Nice little 25. Not a bad fish at all. Guys, this is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, oh. 
Very brave we go, bro. There we are, fish on. Fish on. Oh, dang. All right, guys, so the fish are blitzing on sand eels. This is what we got tied on. Little homemade diamond jig I kind of made with a little Senko on the back. And I'm getting wind knots like crazy, but it really doesn't matter that much. There's just so many fish out here, it's ridiculous. Like I've been waiting all of my life <laughs> For fishing like this. I mean, there's still schoolies, but this is awesome. It'd be nice if I could catch a few more. Only got one now. Have had two bites, but we'll still keep fishing and see if we can get any more. Awesome. There we are. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Little one, this is the smallest one of the day by far. Holy crap. I mean, this is a baby bass, dude. Look, look how he's coming in. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a herring. <laughs> First herring of the day. Monster herring, guys. <laughs> See you, bud. That's the New Jersey tarpon right there. Second fish today. Second species. Keep on fishing. Um, the bite's definitely gonna go down as this sun comes up. Uh, I mean, it's already happened. You guys can see a lot less birds, a lot less guys hooked up. So, I mean, that was a fun little window we got. Caught some fish. Still could catch some, but likely not. Oh, there we go, fish on. Just as I was saying, I wasn't gonna catch anything. Got in our fish. I think it might just be another herring, I don't know. Yeah, another herring. Jumbo herring, Jesus. Big old herring. <laughs> All right, just shows fish are disappearing, but big old herring. See you, dude. Fish on, fish on. Another herring probably, man. Things are crazy. Herring for days, Jesus. <laughs> Fat herring, dude, Jesus. Look at the size of that thing, man. Jesus, gosh. That's a monster herring, man. Look at that. Thing must be 20 inches long. Absolute tank. See you, buddy. That's a bass, maybe. That's a bass. That's probably a bass, I think, I hope. Here we are, come on in. Oh, oh there he is. Nice. Another nice striper, guys. Again, probably a little 24 inch or nothing huge. <laughs> there he goes. Woo! There we go, guys. Another bass on our little homemade rig. Terrible release. That's terrible. 
turbo release. I'm actually ashamed of it. All right, well guys, the bite has certainly slowed down. Um, as you can see, it's been like 20, 30 minutes since we last caught a fish or I've seen any fish. I actually caught the last bass that I've seen, so they pretty much moved out of here. I, I forecasted as soon as that sun left, I mean, as soon as the sun came out, I figured the fish would be gone. But I mean, that was just an exhilarating, like 45 minutes, 30 minutes of fishing. I mean, I just strolled down the beach. I was like, wait, are, the, are those fish over there? And then the chaos just broke loose. Birds started moving in and sand deals started popping. So this is what I was throwing towards the end. I think this is what I landed most of my, I uh, landed most of the herring on this and one of the bass. Just a little Senko right here. I tipped that on. The diamond jig, I don't know, something a little different from what, what the bass are used to seeing, I figure, but I need to cast some distance. As you guys can see, I went full Guga mode with straight braid. Um, I had a just gnarly wind knot, and I just pretty much cast it off that nice teaser I showed up earlier, and a nice two ounce Ava, so. Not that bad, we caught some fish. Um, got two bass, I think, and five shad in total, which is pretty good. But it looks like they moved out of here from the north part. I mean, there's just there's probably hundreds of people out here, which is just crazy. Most people caught some fish. I mean, that was nice. What's all about? It's pretty much my first blitz I've ever got in on or ever caught anything. It's really, really cool. That's what it's all about. That's why you're out here every morning. I mean, been awake for pretty much like 48 hours or one hour of sleep. So we'll get back cast and see if we can get anything. Switch this rig up, put on the mono leader. Yeah, we'll see if we catch anything else. Hopefully we do. And uh, yeah, hopefully catch some more fish. If not, see you guys in the outro. Stay tuned, got a few more hours before I gotta go take a nap, and then I'm off to work. All right, well guys, as you can see, um, I'm obviously very exhausted after countless hours without sleep and just grinding out here on the surf. Probably my first ever real blitz I've seen. Um, I saw one before at last year in Lavalette. I mean, there were a lot of fish, really, really rat ones though. It was like in December and I didn't catch anything, so it doesn't count in my books. But today we caught some fish. Um, obviously you veteran guys probably are like, what's this kid getting excited about? Well, I mean, I was stoked after grinding all night and not a single, single tap. Woke up this morning. I honestly was just contemplating just laying back here in my little bed and just not getting up. But I was like, yeah, I'll go check it out. And what do you know? I mean, there were a thousand people out there, but they're still caught some nice, nice fish. So that was awesome. Um, I think I, I hooked into something decent. I mean, I, I, you guys saw it. I like set the hook and it just didn't move. So it could have been a skate. Like who knows what it could have been. I'm going to say big striper because obviously, but uh, you guys can see I'm tired. I need to get on the road. Still fun catching some fish. Um, even caught some really big shab, which was just sick. So I'm going to get on the road, guys, air this car out, wash my waders off, and then get back to work in T minus five hours. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing and also consider supporting me on Patreon. If you want to sponsor more of these um, adventures, sends, whatever you want to call them, to pretty much wherever. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video fall run is in full swing out here i am super tired also gonna drink my first ever red bull tonight as well or this morning so 8 50 now i'm gonna get on the road guys again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more videos see you in the next one peace out